they tell me keep push leave them no more options they can't say they ain't look flood them with your music till they finally start book when they ask about us we gonna say that we took all right, welcome back. This is the Elite Forge Gaming Podcast, where we talk about games and give you information on the stuff that we're looking out for. Today with me, I have three special guests, I guess. Well, actually, it's just one. But, Deontay, go ahead and say your opening statement. I thought we were the lounge. No, the lounge. But whatever, it is what it is. We'll talk about that after this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a good start. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Uh, Fluffy, give your opening statement. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Fluffy. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. That's, that's it. Why, what, uh, what am I supposed to say? I don't know. I'm Fluffy. I got Panda in my name. I like Fluffy Pants, something. Mm. Yeah, what, what he said. And last but not least, our special guest, the one and only Selena. Hello, hi. Um, my name is Jordan. I go by Selena also. Um, I'm really grateful to be here with you guys. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, and I come from a little community called Be Habitually Elevated. And if you peek me online, I'm BSD5X. Yeah, that's me. And thank you for joining us today. So, thank first you. on the list, we have <laughs> we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered or the remake or whatever you want to call it. Brand new game. Yep. And basically what it is is I guess they're trying to go back to the roots of MW2 and give us the game that everybody been begging that they wanted back. However, there are some information about this game that don't really make too much sense, but it is what it is. Such as, they're bringing back maps from the classic MW2, but they will not be there on release. They will be there for DLC, which is quite strange to me. Deontay, how you feel about it? My thing is, when we talk when we talk Call of Duty and we talk about DLCs, it's not like how it was back then, you know, where you pay $15, you get this map, and you get whatever... I think it's just gonna be like an update because of Warzone and just gonna get, they're just gonna keep adding maps on there. Cause I ain't paying out one DLC of any Modern Warfare that I play, play with. The original they brought back, they just added on there. So I was just like, all right. I mean, but the downfall about it is, it's too much damn gigs y'all take up. <laughs> is it gonna stop you from playing this time? Oh, hell no. Oh, mm, not so this one. Not this one. Not this one. This one I'm actually gigs, excited. That's what's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, this one at least. Yeah, this one I'm actually excited and ready to play. And Fluffy, how you feel about it, you know? Are you an MW fan? So this is the only uh modern warfare game I've ever played, and I thought it was great. So I imagine I know this is like one of the most popular games in the franchise, so I'm sure it'll be a huge success and you know, it is kind of concerning that like the the maps you want are not going to be there on release. I imagine they are going to want money for it because they know people will pay it. Um, but I think either way, you know, if you're a fan of Call of Duty, it's like, how could you go wrong with this? You know, it's a. I I think it'll be a, a incredibly successful game that a lot of people will play. Makes sense. Makes sense, Jordan. Um, so I, like, I agree and I don't agree. Hot take. Um, I know a lot of people have been like super excited, um, because it's been years since the last one was released, and you know people were like camping out of like you know GameStop waiting for this. <laughs> My brother is like even like really excited about it. Um, so for me, I I love COD. I really. I don't know, every week I'm at least playing like Rebirth or something. But my only concern, you know, with like in recent years with these new releases from Activision, Blizzard, whatever, um, is that we spend money on a remastered game that won't live up to the hype. So like, you know, people were like super excited for like, you know, the Vanguard release and the Cold War release and it did not produce well. I wasn't. I hate it. I'm glad I didn't get it. 
Yeah, like I didn't pay for it. I'm just like, nah, I'm I'm, I'm okay. I'll stick with this free <laughs> VR mode. <laughs> Think so. <laughs> but right. yeah, I, um, go ahead. I go think ahead. people are expecting. I I agree with you. I I think most people just you're nostalgic towards the game and you yeah. think it is way better than it actually is. And pretty much it's like from a remastered, it's like you just expect better graphics and like mm -hmm. the game's gonna be the same. But it's still like you're you're still playing a game that's, you know, ten plus years old. Well let's just cross our fingers and our toes that like again it just lives up to the hype and that it has been such a long hiatus that, you know, we get what we want. Like Call of Duty actually put the time or Activision actually put the time into the development of this game. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I feel kind of bad because uh, I don't really care. I don't. I don't. One. I. I just don't, man. Call of Duty. They. They broke my heart after. Uh, I wouldn't even say Black Ops Four. I think. I skipped it. I, skipped I think. It I think Advanced uh, Warfare is when I gave up. Or uh, Infinite. Uh, was it Infinite? The last. World War Two was my favorite, hands down. World War Two was fire. I loved it. I loved the maps. It was just great. I, I loved that game. Zombie was, zombie was jumping on World War Two. I'm not gonna lie, he was jumping. Yeah. So. Uh, but who? But my thing is, who asked for a Vanguard? Who asked for another World War Two game? <laughs> pretty, pretty much, they said it was like a continuum of World War Two. It was like, who asked for this? And See, I think we can put some of the blame on a lot of these like partners the, these twitch or youtube partners because they hyped it up and i don't know if you guys pay attention to that but i've definitely noticed that if they get on here and hype up these games you know that they're gonna drive the sales up for it and then you have like you know tend the tap man for example or dr disrespect who like get on their platforms and talk about how shitty the game is and we see how <laughs> shitty the game is but it's too late you've already got our money so there's yeah, that <laughs> This is the this is the the whole scheme that they have. You get the big YouTubers or Twitchers. They talk about it. They hype the game up. Then you get mm -hmm. the the real OGs who they base off like their popularity is based off of them just being truthful and spitting their real opinions. Who be like, nah, this is shit, which everybody agree with. And then next thing you know, it's like, oh, this game was a fail. Yeah. But exactly. I want to know. I want to know one thing. Are they gonna put no more Russians? on this one like how they did the original mm. <laughs> you, i'm not you know, stepping in no hey so i'm out no i am not stepping in that territory you on your own if you say anything about that you are on your own it, it's it's a only every call of duty gotta have a controversial you know mission to ask are you do you feel comfortable of doing a disturbing mission i, I, I want to know they're gonna do that they're gonna one, cut it I, I'm almost certain, and I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when my mom saw me playing that mission, her face was a little, little <laughs> concerning. <laughs> I remember she was like, "I'm really thinking if I need to take this back." <laughs> I totally understand. My mom was definitely like that, like off of like GTA back in the day when you know she would see us like you know jumping strippers for money and prostitutes for money. She's like, "All right, that that's enough." That's enough. All right. And then the funny part about that, I'm like, so mom, you let me play God of War. Right. Def Jam fight <laughs> right. for New York. <laughs> Egret the Fado, but this one just taking it a little too far. All right. Cool. Cool. Because, like, you killing kids, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? You in the airport, you just spraying. And everybody, like, <laughs> bro, come on, man. I, I see why your mom's face was like that. <laughs> Deontay, she literally walked me through fighting a uh, uh, whatever goddess I was on God of War 2, the one with titties all around it. She sat there and just didn't be phased by that. I was phased by that. But here's the thing though, did you kill kids though? No. Dante's a friend, no. you was? I, I don't remember. I remember I was in hell. Yeah. <laughs> Look, man, we getting yeah. off a of topic. We'll we'll come back to this a different day. But anyway, yeah. So Modern Warfare 2 Remaster. How y'all feel about it? Let us know in the comments as we move on to our next subject. Alright, so the next game on the list is Multiverses. Just to give you a breakdown of what it is, it's a free-to-play platform party brawler that's coming this summer, if I'm not mistaken. And basically what it is, it's Warner Brothers version of 
the Smash clone formula. I said Smash clone formula. Smash Bros <laughs> formula. All right, cool. <laughs> and basically, look, man, Deontay, save me, please. What well, I got to do it? Because right, I'm well, falling well, apart right now. Well, pretty much nah, what, he was, what he was trying to say is the Smash Bros formula of the gameplay, but it moves a little different. That's what you're trying to say? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, basically, just first impressions on the game. How do, how do y'all feel about it? I'm down for it. 2v2 or free for all. Yeah, I'm I'm ready for it. You got what we want us to. Yeah, this game looks really good. I, Yeah, I'm excited. I want to try it out. And it's free. It does, yeah, it does look like it will compete with Super Smash Brothers quite a bit. And there's a lot of like famous characters in this game, and I think it'll draw in a bunch of people. Yeah, it's very nostalgic, and you know, as we were just discussing, like in the break, like there hasn't really been many complaints about this game. Um, I've heard people who don't typically play uh, fighter games found this like very friendly. Uh, user friendly more so and I don't know it's just like again it's just like really nostalgic I'm I'm like watching Shaggy right now like draw Taz <laughs> is kind of funny yeah I know I I knew this game was going to be a big deal when my dad texted me and was like hey you heard about this game what yeah, yeah I know about right. it but why do you know about it <laughs> my dad trying to be right. when, when your dad's calling you telling you about a game and that means it's something. The last game he ever called me about was Halo. And I was like, come on now. You already know I'm, I'm the truth of Halo. But that, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, the thing with this game that I'm liking is it seems like when it comes to each character and how they play and then like little silly stuff that happens on the screen, depending on which character you play, it seems like they put a lot of love and time into these characters. Like they're fans of these characters as well. Mm -hmm. Such yeah, as... that's a huge thing. They are the characters are very unique, and like they actually portray like what they would in their original show. And it's yeah. like nobody really seems to have the same fighting style. They all have their own little quirks to them. Yeah, right. and so I know I think there's like shield characters who you know specify on shield. There's um assassins I think which you know they do like hard hits and their support characters. Um, you know, which, they, which pretty much Velma support. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like Tom and Jerry, just the fact that they don't fight you, they fight each other, but you're just caught in a crosshair of them fighting. Right, and, and that's I, a really that's, cool idea. Yeah, which that's every, if you if you watch Tom and Jerry, yeah, you will be in a, a fight if you ever ju uh, jump into that situation. Right. Yeah, and I think Another thing that I saw Tom and Jerry do, because I'm probably going to be playing Tom and Jerry a lot because I like them, but you can actually like throw Jerry on the other side of the map and then separate them. And then you like, so you can have Jerry throwing tennis balls at uh, Tom and Tom will hit him back and then shoot him back. And if you're in between them, you'll get hit by the tennis ball. And you can also just kill Jerry with Tom. And I don't know why you do the little homie like that, but hey, do what you got to do. Like I said, just like they said, it's on site. <laughs> Tom and Jerry is always on site. They were the original <laughs> Black Air Force energy. <laughs> Man. And uh, yeah, um, forget Superman. Yeah. He wears a diaper. I want to know, they need to put Scooby in. I know they're going to put Scooby in it. He has to yeah. be in. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, game's man. down. I just don't understand why they wouldn't put him in there. All right. Well, I'm he'll bad. be a pretty big like DLC character, you know. Or oh my. Well, I mean, if they do that, you get the Vilma. Like, well, well, if they do on. that, I feel like they should have it no differently. Like Tom and Jerry, you should have Scooby and Scrappy do in you know, kind <laughs> yeah. of like the dynamic duo. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> <laughs> but. My thing with it is, even if they come in as DLC, I think they're going to treat it as Brawl Hollow, where if you just play the game, you could just earn the currency to buy that character. Because that's, right. that's how the beta is. They have is. to make money some way, though. So I, yeah. they're either going to do, like, season passes or pay for characters. You know, it's like... Or I, I doubt they would do, like, skins, but I guess that's 
could be a thing too. Yeah. Oh. Just unlock more people from each universe. Yeah. One thing I forgot to mention too that I think is dope is like the voice actors that play some of these characters on the show play their voices in here and they have like stuff that they say against each other. Like when Batman and Velma are on the same team, they be sitting there basically arguing over who, who gonna solve the case first. I thought that was funny. <laughs> and then like uh, Scooby and Batman, like when they fighting each other, they be sitting there saying like funny banter to each other. He's like, oh, so he, I said Scooby, Shaggy. <laughs> Jeez, man, I am messing up. I am running over myself. See, that just shows you Scooby needs to be in this game. Right. right. Well, <laughs> yeah, he's, he, the show's named after him, so it's weird that yeah. he's not right. in the game. Yeah. So he, he has to be a part of the game in the future. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and say this. If they think about the live action movies, Daphne got to be in here, too, because she got hands. I mean, you might as well just get everybody, just give Brady, Daphne. She you know says she's not a damsel. She has to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that, that's all I'm saying. They just need to go ahead and get these characters. But talking about Warner Brothers, I don't know all the shows on there, but I know we know a lot together. So first of all, the one thing that caught my attention is that they could put Neo from The Matrix on here. That, is that would be weird. But I mean, I think they you... could do it, but it's like these are like cartoons. Just think about it. Well, shock, yeah, and um, Arya Stark is from Game of Thrones, and she's on here. Yeah, oh, I and guess she, I didn't realize just, she was Just on think here. about HBO Max. That's Pretty crazy. much. Go ahead, throw Young Justice so, on here. Okay, this I don't know how old all of you guys are, but think of like the Hanna Bar- uh, Barbera shows. You know, like Ooh. the Flintstones, the Jetsons. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like there, there's so many different ones that you could put on here. Get the the maid from the Jetson. Yeah. Uh, Jetson. The hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know what I just that, realized too? She would be pretty lit. <laughs> they all Rick and Morty. Oh God. And Lord of the Rings. Uh, that would be fun. <laughs> Bro, uh, come on, man. Put my boy Legolas in the game. I need him. But it's kind of weird that the Animaniacs aren't in here. Right. Like that's yeah. weird. They, and I, don't I feel, I feel like they gonna, like, I feel like they gonna put them in there. I hope. Cause so it, you get you got to you got to put Animaniacs in there. So right, I imagine they're gonna add a ton of characters to this game. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Cause looking at this, I think that this is probably gonna last a little bit longer than how Super Smash Bros did. Cause it's a live service. So I'm thinking that that's what they're gonna be adding these characters very slowly, but still try to you know, save a lot of these best characters for longer in the line just to add that hype so people will keep coming back. Mm-hmm. And since it's live service, they ain't really gotta make another one. They just gotta keep updating this. Kinda like how Fortnite hasn't made like a Fortnite two. They just keep updating it and upping the game that they yeah. have. Right. Wally Coyote and his shenanigans will be perfect for this damn game. Hey. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> the options are, are limitless, I think. They yeah. really are. I mean, because you got, like, the Super Pets. You got all the DC. You... Bro, they have so much. Looney you got Coo- Harry Looney Potter, Coo- bro? Yeah. yeah like, I'm, 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 like, totally now. Is this a lot? Imagine <laughs> imagine they, they version of Cloud and um, Seth Ruff on this game is, like, Harry Potter and Voldemort. Like, oh. that man ain't even got a nose, and he still be getting it in. I mean, he kind of got you got two slits right there, but uh, we ain't talking yeah. about Wait, are Teen Titans in here? In ju- uh, not yet, but oh, they, man, they, cool. they have access to all of DC. I'm they like, really yeah. I'm, they I'm, I got Finn and Jake on there, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, go ahead, put, put Raven on here. You could put Starfire, you could put Static on here, because he's he finally started making more appearances on the new Young Justice. Mm-hmm. I love Freakazoid. it. Freakazoid. Man. Go, go ahead and start speak. Start spinning. Go ahead. I'm I'm out of shows. <laughs> <laughs> this so, is like so many. Man, this game about to be fire. I'm I'm excited. So uh, as as you guys can clearly tell, we're all really excited for this game, and yeah. we think it's gonna be a huge <laughs> hit. I mean, like, how can you go wrong with a free to play game? Yeah. You know. That's what iconic characters. Like, yeah. Come on, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these characters have been around for like, you know, some of them have been around for like 50 years. And then, like, for the older audience, it's like a lot of these cartoons that we ain't seen forever, and just seeing them back on, like, something new is just crazy. 
And then yeah. I think anybody will want to at least watch it because I'm like I said, my dad hit me up and was like, hey, "You heard about this game? Like, what's up? What? Why is all these characters fighting?" I'm like, "I don't, I don't know. It right. <laughs> just happened." <laughs> So I'm like moms, grandmas, sister, like everybody should know at least a character on here, and I think it'll just be interesting just for them to watch and just be like, what is the madness going on on the screen right now? Definitely, yeah. it bridges generations. I like that. Yeah, it really does. So I'm like, I would never think that I would see Tom and Jerry fighting with the characters from Adventure Time. Right. Right. Like, look, man, we, there's nothing else that needs to be said. This game's gonna be good. Hopefully, they fix and clean it up as they go, but I'm excited for it. It's the release date, like the official release date. Oh, uh, it, it. Open beta starts July, but I don't know about the like the official release date. Mm. It looks like they do have skins for characters. Like in the the trailer video, you can see like Tom and Jerry as like a pirate. So it yeah. says July of 2022. So next or two months from now, yeah. Is the, don't have like a date date, but that's that's when it's playing to release. All right, hopefully. Yeah, right. You already know I'm gonna be on this yeah. bad boy, right? Well, there's a good chance you'll see content of us playing this game. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Mean, and it, and it's free ninety nine. You can't go wrong with that price. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, but keep your eyes open. This is one that we're looking out for, so hopefully you'll be looking out for it too. All right, so the next game on this is Sniper Elite 5. Basically, it is a sniping game. You don't have to snipe if you want to. You can go in guns blazing, but why would you? That takes the fun out of it, personally, my personal opinion. Um, there is two-player co-op, and basically, if you play the other Sniper Elites and Zombie Sniper Elite, you, you kind of know what you're expecting. It's just more of that, better graphics, and more blood and gore. D. Montreal, how you feeling? How am I feeling about this? Hmm. Well, I never played it, but I got Sniper Elite 4 for free on PlayStation. Uh, I was looking at it. Seeing there's a bunch of disturbing shots you can do in this game, which one of them was a testicle shot. Yeah, oh my really God. disturbing. Really, <laughs> really disturbing that they showed it in the X-ray form. Yeah, <laughs> that, I forgot that's a thing. I remember doing it. Yeah, that. yeah, and they labeled it just like that too. Oh which no! I didn't oh, know they. Which I did not know this game get down like that. On the older games, they used to hit, <laughs> pop up a little squirrel with like a cracking nut. That that was funny. Uh, um, it it's it looked interesting. I might try the fourth one out since I got it for free, and just to see what it's what it's about. But other than that, I got an open mind for this game. Yeah. I'm more than likely going to play it if I can catch it on sale or if it comes to Game Pass. Definitely going to be uh, using this to practice my sniping on Rogue Company because I'm the best. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm going to be playing it. I mean, I, it's Sniper Elite. I know what to expect. Fluff. Yeah, I think, like, this game, it looks great. The graphics are really good. Um, I'm a huge fan of, like, stealth games and which way you're actually meticulously like running around and stuff like that so this is something that's probably really up my alley yeah and if you want to see me and fluff played it's probably more than likely gonna happen it's probably gonna be him uh beating the game the correct way and me making the game a lot more harder for him so yeah that's how it goes Yep. <laughs> that is exactly nah, how man, you're supposed it. to be like, look, man, <laughs> you're not gonna do that. No, man. no, spot on. Uh, oh, okay, spot right. on. <laughs> Jordan, how, how you feeling? Um, this shit's like kind of gory. <laughs> 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 um, definitely, I agree with both of you guys. Um, it it's smooth graphics for sure um i would agree this would be great for you to practice like your sniping skills your sniping abilities on this um i don't necessarily know if i could see myself playing it, it just seems like really slow pace that that's it it just seems very slow paced and I, yeah, i'm a I guns of blazing really kind slow. of person yeah, yeah i'm a guns of blazing kind of person too. so I, I don't think it's bad though i don't think it's bad but not for me <laughs> yeah um I guess the last thing I can say about this game is 
Uh, they have an arcade mode in the like. I guess arcade mode would just be easy, and then they have like the realer one where it's like the bullets have drop, and you have to kind of take your shots more carefully. Mm. But other than that, yeah, I mean, Sniper Elite Five. It is what it is. So I will be playing it. All right. So the next game we have on the list is Naraka Blade Point. There is a new character that's being released. I do not know his name. All I know is that he's a samurai. He looks like the dude that beat me up on Ninja Gaiden. So I have a personal beef with him of wanting to beat this. Can't say the word. I just want to beat him up. All right. Um, and his move, like some of his skills, remind me of Virgil from Devil May Cry because he has a move where he sits back and sword slashes happen all over the screen. He's a new character. And they have an update to update the optimization, so I will be back on once that update drops because I'm excited. It might have actually dropped not too long ago, so I might need to update because it is sitting in my Steam. And on top of that, he has some relationship to two of the characters on there. Her, that's on the screen right now, and I can't remember the other lady. But I'll let him finish. Anyway, Fluffy. Yes, sir. Cool. Yeah. I, I, well, yeah, I think, I mean, you know, it's always nice to have new characters in games. So I think that'll just spice up the game quite a bit to have another character in, in the roster. Um, his, the abilities look pretty good. Um, they're, they're also coming out with a mobile version, which, you know, mobile gaming's not popular in the, the West. Um, but in the East, you know, it's very popular, and I think that will bring huge success for Naraka, and, you know, that will be good for anyone who enjoys the game already. You know, that'll allow them to keep expanding the game. Um, they also, you know, did the quality of life updates, and, yeah, you know, the better stability, the, the better your games will be. So, so I think this is, you know, good news. If you enjoy the game, you know, why not give the, the new character a, a try? Yes, and uh, buff the crossbow so I can continue to snipe people or to shoot people like it's an SMG and kill them in 3.2 seconds. Make it 1.2 seconds. I need that. Right. I just make it a one-shot kill. Yeah, Even yeah. if you hit him in the big toe. You know, right, right. And, oh, my God, please buff the nigga that turns into a big-ass monster. Oh, my God. Playing him. blocked him. No, I said nerf him. <laughs> oh, I he said buff. I was like, I think he's pretty strong, all right? Yeah, no, nah, bro. <laughs> That man, he can grab you and then just take you away from your team and then just start stomping you. I'm like, <laughs> why, why is he able to do that? And it's not like your team can beat him up because he's just kind of unaffected by whatever y'all do. I mean, I remember it was me and Skull playing. He picked up Skull and threw him at me. I was just like, why? Well, that's unnecessary. I didn't even do nothing to you. Right. Well, what a lot of people do is like after you get picked up, it's like everybody on your team just starts shooting the person in your hand. You know, and then it's like you kill them, they can't move at all. And it's like you pretty much just like lock them in place, and the rest of your team can nu nuke them in two seconds. So I don't know why they use teamwork strong. on their game. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not your games, but I, I know saying. in my games there's teamwork. I am the Bruce Lee of the game. Give me nine chucks, and ain't nobody beating me in no no melee fight. You better pull out a gun. That's your only chance. Hey, you know what? It don't look that bad on phone. It looks a lot better than I thought. Yeah. Huh. What do you know? Right. I, I think. Agree. Yeah, yeah really I think it will be really game. good on mobile. Yeah. You know, I I think it's just not a popular thing. You know, in the West that people want to play mobile games, but I think like it will be a really good mobile game. Yeah. Stop showing me outfits for characters I play. Nah, this game trying to take my money. On to the next subject. <laughs> All right, so the next game up that we have information on is Identity 5, kind of. We kind of have information on it. Apparently, this is a game on the, mo the mobile platform already that we kind of know somewhat about. It's kind of like Dead by Daylight, but with a Coraline art style, Tim Burton art style to it. Um, Jordan, would you like to go first on what you think? Yeah, sure. I really do enjoy the graphics of it. Um, the designers and developers of this like really took their time with it i like the steampunk aspect of it also um looking at the gameplay video that we just watched i feel so stressed especially like with the heartbeats like it, it, it's it's my heart rate going but um 
I think that if you are a fan of Dead by Daylight, um, again, kind of like same gaming concept, so I think you'll enjoy it. It's a little bit hard for me to follow, but um, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun once you figure it out, like most things. I think that's like all I can say on that. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's not a whole ton to say. Like, it does look like a game just like Dead by Daylight, so if you're a fan of that game, you know, this game is probably worth giving a shot to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they all, they have you know the characters all seem pretty unique the art style is really nice yeah and if i'm not mistaken i think you get like look like the survivors get like a, a ability with this to help them escape so they could make the game a little bit more fair in most safe uh, most cases yeah so what about you dimontreal uh okay i'm just gonna say what all of us are thinking about why every time we get here, your clothes come off? I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm just like, what, what, right, what's that up with is, this? That is interesting. Yeah. What, what, what's up with this? Um, you, you, can, you can think of like nothing else, you know what I'm saying? You, you might lose an ability, you know? You, you might lose a, But why you gotta lose your clothes, man? Be... Hey, it's a um... cheap way to get people <laughs> in, interested in your game. Right. I, I can't say but, nothing because there's another game that I play where similar things happen, so I'm going to just shut up. Oh but gosh. other than that, you know, the game is, seems interesting. Kind of cheap because, you know, you ride a roller coaster and the killer's already right there waiting for you to get off the ride. It's I think yeah. that's only up. his ability. I'm <laughs> thinking that's only up. his. They're like, why is he so fast? Like, yeah, but everybody's so slow. So, I, mean, yeah, I mean, he was a raccoon. It's some, I, you know, since I tried, because I tried out uh, Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th. This won't be no different, but yeah. I'm invested. Let me just say that. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get some more American details and we'll go when that is released. So on to the next. All right, so Lost Ark have announced that the Destroyer class will now be making it to NA. And about time. Yeah. You know, I like the Lancer Paladin class. Jordan, what class you play? Um, shooter. And then Fluff, do you know the name of your class? Which one yeah, you it was Sorcerer. Oh, Very that's the simple. name? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I was gonna have some like complicated name like No, nah, no. Like Priest Wait, Mage. Right. Wait, maybe maybe I did fuck gonna, it. I don't gonna. know. <laughs> that, that's fine. I forgot it's not yeah. shooting gunner. There we go. <laughs> and then I don't even know the name of my class. I know I had Soul Fist for my first one, and then I had the Dark Blade for my second one, and then the Paladin was just the class that I wanted, the little Lancer class. Yeah. So basically, all I can say is I mean, Lost Art, I like it better than Diablo. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it's exciting that there's a new character, you know? It would be nice if, like, they released all the characters um, yeah. that they have ready. You know, it's like, it's, these characters are a couple of years old by this point, but, you know, it's nice that they're actually adding them in, and hopefully, you know, they start adding them in faster. Yeah, I'm just happy we got a global release for the game, to be honest. Yeah, right, and that's I, huge, too. Yeah, I was, I was definitely... It, it got to the point, I heard, like, that it was coming out, it came out to Korea, and then... There was nothing else after, just Korean yeah. like information, and I was I was sitting there like you know, um, young black male, Texas wants to play. Let let's make it happen eventually. They heard my cries, so they they made it happen. Amazon and me, we got a nice relationship. They take a lot of money from me. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> other than that, man, uh, Dima, yeah. how you feel? Uh, I still haven't played it yet. All right, I think that, I think that was the best information we got all day. All right, I think the destroyer will be a fun class. You know, he looks very tanky. You have a giant hammer, and I mean, how can you really go wrong? As much as I get hit, hit, this must be the class I need to play. Right, and he has a big shield, and yeah, it's. I think it'll be fun if you like to, you know, use massive weapons. Definitely give him a shot. Yeah, I feel like I do the best with tank classes because I like getting hit. But at the same time, I like to hit back harder, so I don't play them. 
Well, but a lot of the times it's like they they just attack really slow, but it's like they do massive damage in like one hit. You know, it just takes them a couple of seconds to wind up each hit. In the words of our, our um, <laughs> what was the name of the game we played? The D and D game. Uh, uh, Dark Alliance. Dark Alliance, yeah. In the words of our Dark Alliance video, I got big luscious legs. If they can carry me around, we good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's the live by? Yes, sir. So is that the male version of saying thick thighs save lives? Is that what I heard? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, I just had to remix it. But, hey, everybody should try Lost Ark. It's free to play. So why wouldn't you? And it's actually a lot of fun. Right? And you have hundreds of... Yeah, there's so much content in the game. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Oh, and because I literally have been playing this game for... This is my first time playing Lost Ark. And I've been playing for a couple of months. This is my first RPG. They're not particularly my thing, but I absolutely love this game. But the classes are Warrior, Mage. Then you have your female and male martial artists, your female and male gunners, and then you have assassins. So I'm personally a gunner because I like shooters. But I love the fluidity of the game. Um, I honestly, I don't even know where to begin. It's just like a downright awesome game. And for someone, again, who doesn't typically play these, I think that um, it has really good functionality as far as being like user friendly. Um, and it just like builds on you. It definitely grows in terms of difficulty and just gameplay. I like it. Yeah, this, this game is actually a lot of fun. Let's see if the other games can try to copy the formula and do what they do. Diablo 4 talking about you. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> Diablo Immortal, come on. It's coming oh up. It's coming up. I'm not going to lie, I have it pulled up right now. Like, when we're like, oh, we're switching to Lost Ark, I'm like, yeah, let's do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, hey, y'all, go, go download, give them money, let them make more stuff. Give them money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, man, yeah, I be they, feeling, I be be feeling bad when I'm, yeah, I be feeling bad when I'm the only one to be spending money, and everybody like, you spent money on this game? Did you not? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, <right. my> bad. <laughs> Rogue Company is a prime example, and Knockout City. I didn't spend too much money on both of them alone. I know I did well one time on Knockout City. Yeah. I haven't played that on my new PC yet. Not yet. Well, the new season, good. the new season is releasing soon, so we'll probably okay. be getting back on. When do we release? Uh, June, I think first actually. Oh, that's next week. Yeah. Cause we we was gonna play it, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna wait for the new season to come out. Yeah. All right, but to the next subject. Oh, All right. <laughs> Next thing on the list is Greedfall 2. I played the first Greedfall on PlayStation a while back. I'm going to just go ahead and make it as simple as possible to understand. This game is basically an RPG with elements that remind me of The Witcher and Dragon Age Inquisition, where you, the choices that you make do change the way that the story in the game fold. If you know the combat, the combat is like kind of a mixture of... Um, you, you have, it's kind of a hack and slash, but at the same time, you can't just go out there and just hack and slash your way through it because you will get messed up. But as far as the game go, uh, the first game was really fun. The second one has been just announced. And the only thing that I'm really hoping for with this game is that it's a little bit better. The story is a little bit more, um, I hope your choices make a little bit more of an effect than the first one made. Like, it changed what happened, but there wasn't nothing like too big that was just like crazy that changed in the story. You kind of initially follow the same, I guess, uh, route that you would. And I hope that the combat is just a little bit more fluid and it don't have as many bugs as the first one. That's all I can say. Next up is Blood Hunt. It came out a couple of weeks ago, and we're just going to talk about it since it's been a while since we did a podcast, and we haven't really got a chance to talk about it. All right. So, basically, Blood Hunt. Game fun, hard, and um, for everybody. They got fun as shit. Nah, God uh, damn it, that bitch hard in a motherfucker, though. 
<laughs> yeah. Let's get that out the way. The movement. But... Re- <laughs> Hold up. The movement reminds me kind of Guns of Duel. I think that's why I like it so much. If you don't know, I used to play Guns of Duel back in the day. Like, it was one of my first PC games, and I love playing it. Um, the next thing I will say, too, about this. Um, for all of y'all that play, who right up played already, if you remember killing somebody called Dread Helsing, LOL. I hate Why? you with a passion, Why especially you if you did it with two swords. And you could actually suck the left side. You. Uh, yeah, I'll finish that. Finish not, that sentence. Need my chair. Uh, Your turn. You, you yeah, can suck the left forward. side of the applesauce for all I care. Mm-hmm. Kill both of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let them know. Let them know. So, whoever played with us, yeah, suck the left side of the applesauce. And honestly, this wasn't even us talking about the game. This was just my call and invitation for smoke. Who wants it? <laughs> All right, on to game and news that actually matters. Next game on the list is Mission Zero. I am excited about this game. What it is is a two v four stealth game, kind of giving the dead by daylight vibe It'll a little bit. Away. I mean, not like. Just it's the gameplay like, alone, it, it don't give me day by day like uh, It's not like horror, but yeah. it's the same thing where it's like two people. Well, in this game, it's like two people are trying to kill the four people. So like the the four people have to complete objectives um, before they can escape. So but that type the of game. game yeah, but, but it, it looks people. a lot more like stealth. Like, they don't know, like, they think you're an NPC in the game, and then, like, they have to figure out who you are um, and then before get rid before of they... it. Yeah. Sounds like Free Guy came to life. That movie was, was actually really good. It was. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that, that is true. Free Guy was the NPC who mm-hmm. starred. Basically, sentient. Yeah, and then it was like, yo, why why is this NPC doing all of this? It must be a hacked player. No, it's not. But other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the game. I mean, it, it just looked cool to me. Like, the spot stuff is just cool to me. And it's always been cool to me. Well, you know how I feel, because, you know, Tom Cleansy. <laughs> yeah, I go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, put Splinter Cell up in here, you know, since no, you used to God, be. no, well, no. Hey, you be something doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give, him, give him his own game. Fuck. Oh, uh, yeah, you was hot when they put him in Rainbow Six Siege. Man, boiler, because I was mad. Hey, and it was fire. You should have played. You should have played. Oh, the only, only time I want to play Sam Fisher is in his own game. Speaking of Splinter Cell, they say that game is in the works. Want to talk about it? I see it to believe it. I want to talk about when I actually see, like, oh, here's a trailer. All right. Well, they're just showing the video for y'all. I hope y'all happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next on the list, Diablo Immortal. Fluffy, take it away. All right. So Diablo makes incredibly good trailers. Like, they are easily top-tier trailers. The problem is... S+. plus. It's nothing like the game. Um, I I think it's. I do not expect this Diablo uh, Diablo Immortal to play anything like any other Diablo game. Um, you know, it's like the only thing that's going to be the same is like it has a barbarian and a sorcerer. But I. I don't know. I think it's just like they're they're stretching, uh, like what Diablo actually is. I think you know if you really like mobile games like i think for like a casual player like if you just like to you know just hack and slash for like a half an hour or something like that you know you'll you might find fun in the game but if you want to spend you know five hours like on the weekend playing the game it's going to become be very lackluster so i i don't know uh i I think blizzard's gone downhill a lot in the, the past like 10 years and I, I think they're just living off of hype now, you know? And it's like their their games just don't live up to what they used to live up to. So I, I would be very skeptical paying any money for this. If the game's free, I mean, you could give it a shot, but I don't know. I, I don't expect this game to be a, a memorable game 
from your childhood? Um, my opinion is on Diablo Immortal. Fuck that game. I'm so excited to play Lost Ark. I mean, uh, Diablo Immortal. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. Anybody else? Do y'all got something y'all want to say about this? It's funny yeah. you said Lost Ark for a second because like that's literally <laughs> what it reminded me of. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, it's, cr it's crazy that they made this genre and everybody like, yeah, this reminds me of Lost Ark. I'm like, dang, y'all let somebody take y'all throne. That's crazy. Oh, they let somebody take the throne a long time ago. Right. Uh, Need my trail. You gonna be playing this? You gonna hack and slash your life away? No, oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right response. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. Let us see what Diablo 4 is looking like. Maybe I'll come back then. Star Wars Jedi, next thing on the topic. We're going. Talk about it. <laughs> Respawn Entertainment, they made Titanfall, so it's going to be good. That's how I feel. I know. Respawn, they ain't, they ain't did me wrong yet. I heard that. <laughs> but see, the shitty part for me is that I started with Apex, so there's that. So, like, going to play Titanfall afterwards, I was just like, oh, this is lackluster. <laughs> yeah, nah. I started off with Titanfall, and when I play Apex, I was true. like, oh, it's Titanfall all up in here, but Battle Royale, I'm feeling it. Man, we talked about Titanfall, uh, it's the Star Wars Survivor. Uh, anybody feel some type of way about it? No. I might try it out. I tried the first one out, you know what I'm saying? I had a good, enjoyable time with it. I watched the whole didn't, gameplay. Didn't the first beat one. it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I might try it out with it if it's on Game Pass, you know? Yeah. Oh, fluffy. It's uh, they have it, it has a little Dark Souls uh type of gameplay to it. And you, you feeling it? It really fucking new. I'm not gonna lie. It don't tell you where to go. You have to figure that out yourself. You gonna yeah. Play? I mean, I don't know if I'll play. I've never played a Star Wars game. I mean, I played the MMO for a little bit, but I I think there's probably a good chance it is a good game. You know, definitely if it's on like Game Pass, you know, I would consider trying it out. I don't know if I would buy it like on release. Just because, like, I'm not familiar with the franchise. I feel it. Even though I'm not a Star Wars fan, I, I play so many games. Well, I, I just play, like, what, three overall? Yeah. I play Lego Star Wars. That's about it. Lego Star Wars was actually a lot better than people give me credit for being. It, it was. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's not much to say. We got a teaser trailer. That's about it. So, yep. That's it. <laughs> on to the next. All right, last but not least on this video is Roller Champions. It is a free-to-play game by Ubisoft that just released not too long ago. And all I got to say is it's fun as hell. Uh, yeah, that's I it. think it is a good game. <laughs> I, it's, I, I think it, uh, it's very unique, you know, uh, and it's actually something where it's like they actually try to come up with some new idea and it's not just some, like, rehash copy of some other popular game i don't know i'm not to say that it's not different but this looks like just a roller derby version of knockout city but like knockout city is very unique as well uh yeah. but the you know it's a very different concept than you know knockout city like you're trying to hit each other but like on this it's like you're trying to you know actually like you can boost your teammates and stuff like that and it's like you're trying to score score goals and get I think if you, I, if you like Knockout City, you know, I think there's a good chance you'll you'll find fun in this game as well. Yeah, I a lot of people that. been trying to uh, compare this to Rocket League, and I'm like, it's not exactly. Yeah. Nah, it's just because it's a ball on the court, you in this little court, and you're trying to score. All right, so basically, the thing about this game is this game is easy to learn, hard to master that's what this game is and i think that's what makes it fun because there's you you have to go around the track and there's checkpoints that pop up on the map you have to pop up or you have to hit all the checkpoints on the map you can pass the ball you can grab onto your teammate's shoulder and boost off of them you can jump on the wall and make yourself go faster by sliding down the wall there's you could tackle you can uppercut people it's like a lot of things that you can do to work on speed and you just have to hit all the checkpoints in order to open the goal. Now, there's more to that. You can open the goal, throw it in there, get your point. If you make it around the track multiple times without the team getting possession of the ball, 
each time you hit all the checkpoints around the track, the points go from one to three. And if you do three laps without, you know, basically them getting possession and make it, the game just ends because you got five points. And it takes five points to win each game. So it's really, it's really dope. It's really addicting. I do like it because it, I'm just let you know now, if you've seen me online and you try to tackle me, I'm breaking your ankles. I'm going to just let you know that now. I'm Allen Iverson on the court. That's it. The only thing is, I, I just wish that for, for you randoms that be playing, like pa pass the ball. That's all I got to say. If you got the whole team on you, you, you're not that guy, pal. You're not. You're not that guy. <laughs> yeah, just 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 sit down, chill. Y you're not. Just just let me pass the ball. Either I'm gonna try to make it. If they start getting on me, I'm gonna pass the ball to my homie. And you you got to keep that ball movement fresh. And yeah, uh, for the guy that kept tackling me, even though I was already on the ground and y'all had scored, just let you know, I know your ID. When I see you again, it's me and you, buddy. I, I'm 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 calling that all smoke. Clearly, you're not holding any grudges. Today. No, not at all. Not, I am a a very nice young gentleman who is very nice. I don't hurt nobody. I wouldn't even hurt a fly. Emotionally. Yeah, emotionally you wouldn't. Physically you would. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, hey. I oh, I am I'm not that type of guy. What are you talking about, sir? Ah, uh, totally. Yep. Fluff, you know me too much. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> and other than that, that's that's kind of all we got on the show notes. So if you'd like to... It's not even that part yet. Be my trail. Give your closing statement. Hey. <laughs> my closing statement is... Live life. Damn, that's deep. That is the <laughs> <That is hard. laughs> Fluffy. Uh, I think you know. There's a handful of games. I think most of the ones we went over. I think all of us were excited for. You know, um, some of those games. You know, they just got updates, but updates are good. You know, um, yeah. I think Sniper Elite Five will be pretty amazing, and I definitely want to give that a shot. Yep. And Jordan, our special guest. Yes. Well, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to you guys for having me out here. Guys, make sure you go and follow, subscribe, like just virtually stalk them, but like in a non creepy way. No, um, only <laughs> creepy way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this is awesome. We talked about some pretty cool games. Um, quite a few that I'm excited for and do want to give a chance to minus the one where the girl just like kept having her clothes taken off but <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure uh, to come kick it with you guys we appreciate you joining us and I will say that most of the videos shown in the video go support the channels that these videos came from they will be most of the videos um, creators will be in our bottom right and watermark so go support those channels as well and um we will be seeing y'all in the next video so everybody have a good day stay safe and we will see y'all in the next episode of whatever we drop peace bye bye Ooh.